this goes right. Um, Will and Jada, everybody probably got a fifteen million um updates on this one. No, um wow. notifications that we on. Oh, then they keep we coming for okay. yeah, so no one probably will show up because this is like the fifteenth time that they've shown that is showing that we live. Oh. So Okay. So um we be we'll probably do the show <laughs> with nobody in the room, but that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. I usually Come break it up anyway. In the room. All right, so Will and Jada. Everybody keep talking they about were waiting him. on him to make a comment. He finally or to say something. He had been making like little tiny little remarks here and there. Like he turned his notification off mm-hmm. and and then he did something where he don't care. He some some post he put like I don't care or something. Hmm. But he actually finally showed up. She had a book signing in Baltimore oh. or some kind of panel she was on. Okay. And Will Smith surprised her and showed up. So it said Will Smith calls relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith sloppy public experiment in unconditional love. They always have. They I have such a very strange relationship, but maybe they're friends mainly. Well, more he, than you gonna see what he says. Friends more than a husband wife. It says Jana Pickett Smith showed up to her book talk at the Enoch Pratt Free Library with her number one fans in tow. Her extremely famous family. Her kids were there too. That's, they show her and her daughter leaving someplace eating. Oh, okay. They were, they were there. They were there. Remember, she's from Baltimore, mm-hmm. so that's like going home to her. So it said the attendees exploded in cheers of excitement when the Oscar winner appeared and um, next coming along next to his wife and his family. The Oscar winner slash slapper, because that was the night he slapped Chris Rock. <laughs> Does anybody remember that he even won the Oscar that night? See, you remember he slapped Chris Rock. Oh, yeah. He actually won for um, uh, Venus and Serena's father. Yes. Playing yes. their father. Wow. So this is a little bit of... Um, what he said, uh, this is a video on um, The Shade Room. Can you love somebody forever, no matter what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, was like, mm. <laughs> I saw you, man. I saw your face. Um, <laughs> You know, can you show up and love somebody for the rest of your life, even when you don't agree with them? And there ain't nobody on earth except you, mommy. You, mommy. My mommy. (laughs) Um, Okay, real quick. The answer is no. (laughs) What you He's trying to make a he point. He said, can you love someone unconditional? Or what was it he said? Do I need to go back? Yeah. The answer is no. You no matter what. The, if if need, somebody slaps me in my head and drags me across the room, no, I'm not staying with them and loving them. He didn't say that. He says no matter what. Oh, no. But he needs to be really clear exactly. on the no matter what. Yeah, no matter there what. There are very abusive relationships where being there may take their Exactly. Life. So I know he or, doesn't mean that. Or if you're not happy, you stand with somebody just because you married them and you said, I'm going to be with you. I'm not living the rest well, of my life depressed and, and on the per- he, if the person is a horrible human being. Whether he's saying it or not, he's talking a biblical stay with yeah, them yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, he is. But he didn't say, pref- he didn't preface that by his, his but don't throw biblical and then you sleeping with everybody in their mind. No, no, I'm not saying that. He, That's what I'm saying. If you're going to have a, a traditional Bible definition of what a husband and wife needs to be together. It doesn't mean sleeping with your son's best friend and then you lollygagging all around the world with another woman. Because if he does say that, I see... Here's the thing that I'm trying I to get what he's saying. No, no, here's the I'm going even another way. If he's saying that a husband wife should be a unconditional relationship, not with the title so per se, okay. husband wife, but a friend, be with her, him unconditionally. Okay. 
even though you got a harem of women on the other side See, that's, because that's the mom of your children there. That's what I'm talking about. It's like, what are you doing? Because he's so the, answer, paper. the answer to me is no. Yeah. I think people get fantasized about that, about the marriage and what the Bible says and you're not supposed to get... The, no. The Bible also says, you know, a lot of other things, well, too. Well, the Bible actually says, if we want to get specific, is when your husband or your spouse has an adulterous affair, yeah. you can leave the marriage. Right. That's what I'm saying. And that's what they're doing. That's it's what I'm It's open saying. marriage. It's adultery. So that, I just threw that in there because he's probably not even thinking of a biblical definition of this. Right. But he's probably just still going off of his relationship with Jada. It's probably more friendship right. than husband wife. but my answer to that question is no okay not with the type of marriage y'all got and been out in the public with no the answer is no so but let's keep going and then he said no one has been there more for me than jada he's right that's fine and he said but except for you mommy because his mother must be sitting that's in the a front friend row. that's okay. she becomes a friend exactly. more so than a lover all right I was up. I was up. Um, <laughs> you mom nobody nobody showed up for me more than you mom um, <laughs> Um, Jade is the best friend I have ever had on this planet. And I am going to show up for her and support her for the rest of my life. Can you love somebody Forever, no matter what. So my answer is no to that. But um, you can't. God can love somebody forever for with, 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 with the rest can, of their lives. This can be debated. What there are people because you even look at on the news when a, a woman whose son has been murdered, killed, whatever, mm -hmm. and she still loves the person that hurt her son. There I don't are, know about there, love. They forgive them. No, no love. That love, oh. my general love. You know, I would help him if he was getting hit by a car or right, something. I'll right. pick him up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Love is probably described in so many different ways. What kind of love? love? Because there are women or people who have been in violent relationships. They still, oh yeah, they still love the husband. They just got to get away because right. they they their life is more right. important. But my, so what do we say? This but my thing is, thing. you got to define the word love, yeah. and then. For me, like you said, you can, when he said show up and be there no matter what, he didn't say stay married. You notice that. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that. I think they can get a divorce and still be there for each other exactly. for the rest of their lives. Show up for every little situation right, that happens. Right. Yeah. But to live that type of life where you're living in a house and you on one side and he's on the other side and your kids are grown and you out there lollygagging with women and she with me. That's not a marriage, in my opinion. I'm trying to figure out why. So did why they, stay married? Why did they decide to stay married? I think the money. Seven years I think money. Said. I feel like it's money. Did they not sign prenups? No, no prenup. And she made clear to say that in her book, that they didn't have no prenup. Oh, then that's the reason why. That's what I'm saying. Together. So I His just feel like mine and my kids. I feel like, and I do agree that he should have showed up there because she's getting raked over the coals in 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 um the news. in the news. And Will Smith, people love Will Smith. So for him to show up and make a comment and say something, that helps a little bit her because people won't be so yelling at her and mad at her because it shows that Will is there supporting her in her book. Maybe that's you know what, what I'm saying. It's not like she just doing this book and he on the river somewhere, like ignoring everything. Maybe that was also the relationship that they have and the friendship they have. Yeah, when he was fussing at Chris Rock, keep your wife's name out of my. That was fighting for his friend. Yeah, because yeah. our friend that we're real close to, we would be mad just as much. Right, right. Keep my so and so's out your mouth. Right, and so. go smack him, whatever. So. It's just confusing to us because they kept it in a, it, a it, they kept it wrapped in a marriage, right? Right, and that's not what. Well, they make it seem like their marriage was so perfect, and it wasn't. Well, yeah. Um, Justice for all says all your audience may have a trouble viewing today. I had to keep refreshing. Yeah, we had issues coming in. 
So we may not, uh, we only have a few people anyway to come in. <laughs> so it's good so, you made it. Yeah. So thank you for coming, Justice. Okay. And also, too, you guys notice um, at the end of the live show, I always break them down in small segments anyway and post up each segment by okay. itself. So okay. if you if you miss the live show, you can always go back and look at um, segments. Okay. But yeah, so he showed up. I guess we got to give him credit for that. Mm -hmm. And um, he wanted they to were let waiting everybody for him to show. They was up. waiting on him to say something, but that question that he asked, my answer is no. I can't love somebody, excuse me, unconditional forever, um, for the rest of my life. I think it's probably not worded that way. No, I, no matter what, that's what he said. Yeah. No matter, no, I can't say no matter what. No, because no, if no, they I'm change, saying, that could change. No, me. I'm saying. If the way he even worded, yeah, maybe it should have been along the lines of "I will try to love." I, I'm hoping that I will love him, right, for the rest of my life. You know, you have to do it like, right, at this moment, right. And then there's a difference and between future could change, and there's a difference between love and in love. Yeah, you can love somebody but not be in love with them. Yeah, but I think people romanticize about that whole marriage thing. Better for worse, rich or poor, sickness and health, death to us. There are people who run out and with sickness. Like, yeah, just, no. And you would think each couple, each relationship is different. It's different, and it's on. Because I know somebody, my personal, my husband got sick and got worse, yeah. personality wise. So you can't love somebody through that. Yeah, they yeah. go through healing. They go through um, counseling. They yeah. go, and then some people have a gift. That can take a little bit more that your your significant other may give or dish out because you know, okay, I'm going to wait this out because they're going through something. Right. I'm praying them through. If you're a person of faith, you'll wait, you'll wait. And then you have very patience. Yeah. You got a gift of, of temperance or whatever. You can yeah. hold, hold your temper and whatever. Yeah. And then maybe four or five years or 10 years, it's getting better. Right. It's kind of like when Ben Carson, I was laughing because I was actually listening to Ben Carson. They mm -hmm. used to be in Trump's. Um, organization, uh, administration. He was saying, uh, 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 "What mar being married is like two pieces of sandpaper coming together. When you first come together and living together, trying to grow together, it's rough. You rub, 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 rub until mm -hmm. it smooths out. Right. Hopefully, some people they leave before the smoothing comes. Mm -hmm. Some people like." I'm going to wait this out until it's smooth. So it was something that he thought of it that way. But like to your point, I don't know. Will to me is a friend. Right. Why they are still wrapped in that title of marriage. Mm -hmm. It could be like you're saying for financial reasons, for businesses, whatever. They're friends. Like she was friends to Tupac. She friends with Tupac more than anybody else. I know. I know. If Tupac was still alive, mm -hmm. I, Will wouldn't be nowhere around that. Would no. You? Okay. All right, let's move on. This stupid okay. thing keeps freezing. So people probably going in and out. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on today with this um with this system, but we're gonna keep on going. Okay. Um Justice says they started off smooth and then got rough. Yeah. Yeah. They that's became what I the they became the sandpaper. Yep. All right. Well, you know, we got to talk about it. 